Hello everyone and welcome back to Developer Soapbox. Today I want to talk to you about Truffle Ruby, which is the Grau VM implementation of the Ruby interpreter. And just like most of my other videos, I will include on the description down below a link to my blog post, which includes uh, most of the information that we will view on this video. As far as requirements for this video, you will need Grau VM installed. If you don't have it already installed, I do have another video, which I'll also put in the description down below. Uh, on how to install GraalVM. So let's go ahead and install Ruby for GraalVM. In order to do that, we're gonna use the GraalVM updater. So that's the GU command. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna do GU install Ruby. And that's gonna start downloading and installing the tr Truffle Ruby. And as is, if we were to try to install any gems here, so if let's say we install Sinatra and SQLite 3, you can see that we're immediately met with the OpenSSL library error. Uh, in order to get around that, we, we do have to install a couple of packages, a couple of dependency packages. So let's go ahead and do that. And these are actually listed in the uh, GitHub Truffle Ruby page. So you can see it here, libsSL, and also has the instructions that I'm about to go through as well. So it, if, especially if you have a different distribution of Linux, uh, I do recommend you go to this page to see exactly what the packages are called for your distribution. And we just need two packages. So let's go ahead and do sudo app install and then the first one is lib ssl dev this is the important one that it's this is complaining about and the second one is build essential once that's complete you do have to execute another script that comes along with truffle ruby in order to rebuild the open ssl library and to find this script go ahead and go to your grau vm directory go in there go into languages go into ruby lib and truffle and the script that we're gonna execute is this one right here, post install hook. So if I go ahead and CD into this directory and then just execute post install hook. And once the installation finishes, uh, this is pretty much business as usual as a Ruby developer. Uh, from here on, you do get some advantages though. So one thing is uh, the Grau VM interpreter is very, very optimized. So um, on general, your, your programs will run much, much faster than the standard uh, C implementation. However, you do get some disadvantages, right? So one big one is, as of right now, uh, Ruby on Rails does not seem to work with uh, Truffle Ruby. Although it is, uh, it does run on the GVM, you also don't get some advantages that you get with JRuby. So for example, you can't, you can't call uh, Java programs or, or call Java classes directly from your uh, from your script as easily as you could from JRuby. You you can still do it, but it's still a little bit clunky. Like the whole polygot thing with GraalVM is still a little bit clunky. You can do it, but again, it's not as easy as JRuby. But enough mumbling on my part. Let me go ahead and show you uh, how to create a quick API uh, using Sinatra, which is compatible with uh, Truffle Ruby and uh, the C SQLite as our backend database. So now it's for real Z. So now we can actually install our gems. So if we go and install, let's do gem install against Sinatra and SQLite 3, now this should work. And during the installation, the gem installation process, it did complain that I was missing another dependency, the lib SQLite 3 dev. So let's go ahead and install that first. And once that's finished, let's go ahead and finish up our gem install of the two gems. And I will cheat a little bit so you can see that I have my blog post open. So the right, and here I, I do go through kind of step by step how to um, use SQLite by itself, how to use Sinatra by itself. But then I do have a script here. That's the actual API that we're going to be using. So in order to save you some time, let me go ahead and copy and paste this and show you how to work, how it works. So I'm just going to CD into my home. I'm going to do a VI API RB. And I'm just going to paste this. Okay, so what's going on here? First of all, we are requiring both of our uh, gems, right? Sinatra and SQLite 3. S then I'm creating a new database, right? So that's what this is doing here. Once you have a reference to your database, you can do a db.execute and execute a, a statement. So here, I'm. this is where I'm creating my table and, uh, you know, in, in the spirit of other examples that I've done, I just have a list of beers here. So it's just a, a table for beers and it just takes in a name. And then I do also have here my my post and get, right? So a method for post and get. So if you post to beers, um, first thing I'm gonna do is 
it does pass in the request so it's gonna get the request body and basically call a rewind on it so what rewind does is if anything else has read from request body it backs up the pointer to uh, the beginning of request body so you have read the entire body again so once you've done that then we can actually get the body so you can see here that it's actually doing a read and then two string of that uh, once we have that i'm just parsing the the request body to json and then i'm doing an insert statement here then next i'm basically binding the value of beer name to my bind variable here and executing my uh, prepared statement so that's what the post does as far as the get um, it's it's simpler than that basically i'm just executing a, a select statement and iterating through that select statement and creating an array of j objects that are uh, essentially converted to json and returned in in the body so let's go ahead and and save this and let's run let's go ahead and run the the, the api all right, so you can see that it is running. Sinatra is running on port 4567. So if I go into localhost 4567, all right, and it's going to be beers. So you can see there's no beers right now. But again, if I go back here and let's do a curl command to insert uh, some records. And let's paste those. So if I go back into my beers and I refresh, you can see that it did insert my, my two records. So that's basically here, the, the curl command is calling the post, right? So here we're just posting uh, application.json contact type. There's your body, right? So I'm just doing name uh, of the beer is Stella and name is Lagunitas for the first one. It's doing a post to my endpoint, which is just localhost four, five, six, seven slash beers. And then here, this is just doing that get. So localhost four, five, six, seven slash beers is returning my, my results. And you can see that it's logging things as it's going along. And again, if you do need all the details, just go into my blog post, developersoapbox.com slash graalvm dash ruby dash basics. And I will be putting this uh, URL in the description down below. And you can basically just copy and paste the code snippets from there. Uh, it'll make your life a lot easier. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. And if you'd like to get notified whenever I release new content, please do subscribe. Thank you very much.